Um, we did one commentary reaction video to Dutons in America, the first episode where we tried to become cowboys. Well, now we're trying to become Indians. Thank you guys for. Findians. Findians. It's not okay to say Indians. Findians. Native, Native Americans. Native Americans. Actually, this episode, the uh, Native American community got offended and it was pulled off the TV, even though we had Mr. Saginaw, who was a great Native American chief guide us through it. In no way it was meant to be offensive. We just had fun with it. Like we like to have fun with everything. Like even becoming a Finnish person. When Paul had his Finnish training, we like putting in uh, in, a, in a car that we cranked out the heat and he had to drink a gallon of hot coffee. <laughs> oh, that's that's how you become a Finn. Yeah, or like we put his pants full of ice and he had to play a drum solo. <laughs> Understanding is a big thing in life. Thank you guys for checking out the first episode and hearing some of the backstories. Now we're gonna tell you something about the second episode. And this episode is crazy because Yarpi broke his back. Compression fracture. It was like 75% of your vertebrae. Yeah, that's why I'm so short. I've never gotten hurt that bad. I screamed like a little pig. Yeah, he did. But, but what can you do when you live hard? If you're gonna be dumb, you're gonna be tough. Like our fellow brothers Jackass say. Let's uh, let's let's put it on. And also, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, click the bell, put on the notifications. We've been doing a bunch of things with the RP. We still got some goodies coming. Channel's not going anywhere. We're gonna keep pushing our limits and living our life, and hopefully inspiring you. Hashtag I'm a dude and family. And give it some love because of my great smooth entrance that I did, like a ninja, like a true ninja, true famous ninja. If you wouldn't be a dude, and what would you be? A ninja. No, because I would be a ninja. No, I would also be a ninja. Well, you can't. I already have that. I took it. Uh, All right, you'd be a, you'd be a, you'd be a, a potato. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a Thomas guy. No, no, that's already said by another friend of mine. He said, I know. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. By the way, the music for the uh, intro was originally on the MTV version. It's different on YouTube, but it, uh, on the MTV version was by Chuck Berry. Rest in peace. But he is infamous for coming to what is so coming to USA, coming to USA, coming to America. Man, man, man. Skip this. So this cold open, we had every episode we had a cold open from Finland, something we did. And this one is like the good old steel boots where you're riding behind a motorcycle. Already had a broken wrist and I ate crap so bad and I like ripped open both of my sides. Job well done. Next time maybe I'll hold on to the motorcycle a little bit hard. I think I just tripped It's like, yeah, yeah, you have a cast on your right arm. Is that how you do and that, it? You know, no, that's like when the when something like that happens, you have so much adrenaline in your body that you don't feel it right away. But afterwards, it really hurts. And then I <laughs> tried to do a, a wheelie on a on a four wheeler, and I ate crap again, and I broke the freaking ATV, and I had to pay for it too. And that was like five minutes apart. Oh my god! I uh, first the slide from behind the motorcycle, and then. Here we go. Yeah, like that. So if you have a motorcycle or an ATV, you can borrow it to me because I have control. I love the I love the childhood photos of us. Like we used to have crazy hair. I've had an afro. I've had pink hair, green hair. I've had just like the the front like a or unicorn horn or whatever you call me both. My, actually, my mom is a hairdresser, so she used to do all these weird looking hairs to me and you. That's a real wolf, by the way. Yeah, it's a real wolf, just like T Rex. It's my dog. But it was fun. I loved this episode. It was funny because we, we did this in LA, but we only had to drive about an hour and a half north. 
we want to and we had this little like western we setting it was like a set yeah, like 100 meter 200, 200 feet long yeah. set that had a saloon and everything and, and, and right next to it was the wipeout set if we're gonna become the honorary that's right and this was actually and this the episode was shot 2010 in january and in there and uh, this is the first real episode after that we knew that after the pilot we knew that the be the biggest part. in America is going to be <laughs> about to happen. Yeah, we were, we were going. We were going for our dream. But why do you have more feathers than me? Because uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm the uh, chief. This is what I'm talking about. Like these like check buttons that we had to do was like forced by MTV and we agreed on it. But now that I look back in time, the show would have been amazing if we would have sh showed like behind the scenes or like the real of what becomes when four fitness guys come to America and try to make a, a, a TV show of their dreams. Like all the struggles, we fired four stunt coordinators, we all got hurt, we struggled and we... But we made a show and I think we still did a few of the most epic stunts we have done in this show. Especially the first one. I can still hear the sound <laughs> when the pro starts falling off. This right here do, 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 and how it's gaining speed as it goes. Yeah, I've always wanted to recreate this, but with like a little bit more... Look at that! Boom! The watermelon just splatters all over the place. I don't know how many nut shots we've done. A, a lot, but I think this is the... Uh, this is one of the most innovative way. It is. It's, it's also scary because it's coming at you. I mean, HP did it, but it's like slowly coming at you and gaining speed. So you have to like follow. And you can hear the sound. Waiting for it. By the way, I love some of the old school dudes and merch that we have on. It's not like, I, I mean, here, this is cool, but I love Suomi. That means I love Finland. Look me in the eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, HP, here I love watching HP's facial expressions because you can see exactly like he can't hide. Especially when like you do something with electricity or a nut shot. There's no, there he goes. Getting up speed. Oh my god. But when you do uh some like HP you can tell it far away that what he's thinking. This is already a bad idea. But hey, whatever it takes to become Finnians, I mean Native Americans, I I honorary Native Americans. Mr. Saginaw was just looking at us and rolling his eyes. What are they guys doing? These guys are nuts, but they got no nuts. That was, uh, that was quite something. How we earned a golden feather. Remember when we, because we used to, we all lived in different parts of LA, we and we would drive together to what, wherever we were shooting, the and uh, we would always stop by the Starbucks, and Sons of Manor is a TV show, we'd be filming at the same time, so we would always stop at the same Starbucks as they are, driving their motorcycles, and like, damn, yeah, we're living the life, this is LA, yeah, living the real. For this as well, we, we shot things, that were never shown because we always overshot so we can choose the best stuff we had rooms that we did something with we had the whole canoe thing we took uh, a buffalo to a flower store and for oh, America, America. this is rites of passage for uh, canoe handling that's big. why we're uh, piling up all the barrels here and but this was one of those things I took to do a canoe stunt that you, you're gonna have a tank a tanker, like a tank car, dump water, and Yarno's gonna ride down on a canoe and jump from a kicker to barrels. The original idea was that we we're, we're gonna have a dude stand on top of the barrels, too. Yeah, but now you see how it goes. It's like, maybe it was a good thing that nobody was standing on top of it. And it was like so flimsy anyway, like there was no way that anybody could have stood up on top of it. And it was crazy because. When we did that, when Yarno did go. that, he didn't yeah, want to go down a hill to see yeah, how the kicker is built. Is he was just there. I just want to do this. Yeah, uh, so don't show it to me because I'll say no because I'll get scared. Yeah. I just want to go. And he got, he, he was committed. He just went for it. 
That's what you need sometimes, but he also ended up breaking ribs. I think he broke like three ribs on this. Like, look how he goes upside down and yeah. just lands down on the ground. And the way he sounds is like, did he just puncture a lung? That was bad. That was, that was the, after that, that was the first time any of us ended up in a hospital doing the shoot at the uh, that was like the second day of shooting, the third day of shooting. The second day. Second day of shooting, and Yana had broken ribs. And like, oh, yeah. crap. Yeah, this is the second day, like after the pilot in 2009. It's like the second day of shooting once we all moved here. Yeah, so first we shot, in 2009, we shot the pilot, which became the first episode, and then we shot 11 other episodes. And the second day of shooting those 11 episodes, Yana broke his ribs. That was just that. That's, that, was good. that was the I point like that we really wanted to show yeah, the Americans is how the Finns do this. And so like we are five more about rides this. to go. Yeah, we just but there was a couple things that went wrong. We were like so full on that let's let's show them that we got balls and let's go like all in, go big or go home. And I think we also we counted too much on American stuntmen because we did have somebody. By law, you need to have somebody look after your safety at the set. But uh, we forgot common sense. But when we got, all got hurt, we're like, okay, we got to put our minds back into this so we don't just end up breaking ourselves and not finish the show. And that's when things started going all right again. <laughs> but that's Gary Lefeu, a legendary bull rider. Yeah, you know, man. That's the guy who loved the bulls from the first episode. Oh, damn, oh, yeah, look at that. Chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your, what's your uh, Native American name? Chief Yarp, Chief Yarp, oh, Chief Native Butchie. American. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chief Butchie. Some <laughs> At least, I mean, oh, even oh, this oh, thing, you just <laughs> went for it. Like this is how. I, I mean, it's still you're jumping from the roof, even now you think you're like a German squatterly from <clears> their, like, a goddess cover page and photos. But look at it, you're jumping on your butt on a barrel. Like, we went for it. Oh my god, I feel so bad for that horse. He got his butt cheeks all over him. You broke that horse's back. No, I feel too bad for the horse. Look at that. Ooh. Obviously, you got something. You're the chief now. I love your outfit. Uh, this is what I love about Yarp too, is like he's so self-confident. Um, Finland voted uh, on self-confidence of people a few years ago when we had a, a president that was a female president. Uh, she was number one, and number two was Yarp. So look at like that outfit he rocked with proud. With, look at that outfit he rocked. He rocked it with pride. We've done three rides of passage and we have four more to go. Of yourself. So these you rides are passage for brotherhood. My brother Indians are in jail and I gotta break Oh yeah, yeah. now you just try to uh, break us out from the prison. Jail. Yeah, because yeah. that's, that's the, definitely one of the, one of the things you need to know the other if you want to become. Cowboys are usually throwing yeah, native Americans into jail. Findian, Findian. Because your Findian bros will be thrown in jail at some point. So what you do? this so kind of like has it roots in a classic stunt we do that we're wearing harnesses <laughs> and we have a rope between us and we run into different directions and it just yanks you on your belly. But I tried it in a way that I had a harness and rope attached to it and the other end was on the jail and I rode a horse one way and it just yanked me off the horse and I fall down so hard that it just like blows all the air out of my lungs. And I landed on the, on the rig that was right on my spine. It was like one of those full body harnesses. Everything we did just failed. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There's like from the get go. But that's actually su that's surprising now that I see this again in like after many years. But you got lucky that you didn't break anything over there. Yeah, and it was right on my spine. Yeah. That's a hard call. What I'm saying is like, I tried to break you out, but your door was already open. <laughs> so, you should have tried first. Rule number one, always check the lock before the, the door. Oh, rule number one, always check the door before you even try to break your friends out of prison. 
<laughs> look at look at my I got my all my feather like spread around all over the place. Yarn is like, like Yeah. He's just sad, you know. King of the <laughs> He's a, he was a cool dude. I, I'm, I feel bad that he got a little bit of uh, trouble from the uh, Indian community or the Native American community. But for example, uh, I love this idea. We we, we attach fish to a, a fan and try to catch with your feet, with your teeth. Right, of passage. I remember when, I, when somebody told that, okay, we, we're going to call this right of passages. It was so hard for me to learn how to say it. How do you say rights of passage? Rights of passage. I don't know. How do you say development? Development. How do you say company? company. I say that's funny. There's like certain words in Finnish that you just can't get rid of. <laughs> but you're really good at this. I think you catch a fish. That's why we call it the bear. That's what bears do. They catch fish with their mouth. <laughs> Oh my god. I wonder what was going through like Mr. Sakinov's head. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, <laughs> no. oh, these guys, they are chasing their dream. We shoot a TV show in the US. This is what they come up with. <laughs> Okay. And the, uh, you know what? But I love the prop guys, like JP Blackman and everybody you know who did the prop guys? like that. The fish were they were like spinning, the properly spinning. And we did a new version of this uh, on Dutch's vlog on this channel uh, recently that we had a cacti spinning on the fan and we were all blindfolded and we had to stand up and go down. And who would it hit? When you might need a ride in the wilderness. There's a link in description the right or there's somewhere over hitchhike. here that you can check. Hey, sir. Yeah, I, I always say that I can't ride. hitchhike. You hitchhiking? You know, yes, because I of am. This. But that's I actually weird. That's, that's the only way. That's the only way I can hitchhike. All right, let's All right. go. This was rough. I mean, ready? being. Yeah. It was right. so violent. Give me a ride. Because you're behind a horse and uh, you get yanked and boom, like the way you bounce around and there's rocks and everything. And Gary that feels something because you guys had beef from the first episode. Not real beef, but like fun beef. He just gave you a ride. Ah! Oh, right for my life. Oh. I was butt cheeks after that. Good. It's still, it, it just got better. Uh, it was bad because I wanted to jump all over the horse or cow, but now it got better. <laughs> You're a tough man. That's uh, very what we dragged and the person. Uh, and the funny thing was, it's the fine, guy had the harness tied to my feet, and there Mr. was Saginaw a release roll. Oh, there was? I, yeah, yeah, I can release my but at one point. Yeah, how do, you, how do, how do, I, how do I aim for my, my animal to release it? So this was the second, the first real episode of Dutchess in America, Findians. And the like, flight of the eagle, the the main stunt, and the final, ultimate right to for he almost like, I, I mean, Yarpi broke his the spine. To our Indian brothers are the settlers and the and uh, it, uh, it was a serious one. We all thought like that this is all gonna end now. Like we are done because yeah. Yeah, that was like the that was like the fourth day of shooting. Yeah, we did this. Uh, it's up to you now. Yeah, you I, I broke my spine. Who gets to fly this eagle? Well, one of the, one of the who spines. Who is it? Who one of the vertebrae. Vertebrae. Compressed me, like me, halfway. The Indian <laughs> Put me in the hospital. Can you I have to wear it? this whole <laughs> upper body harness <laughs> thing for I'll like three months. Yeah, yeah, but you were basically wearing a corset for three months. Corset. How manly is that? That's you I were actually complaining because he, I can't eat too much because this gets too tight. Kill hundreds of innocents. It was uh, this. We fired this stunt coordinator afterwards. We heard that uh, he had uh, a lot of trouble in other shows and movies as well. But we hired like real good stunt coordinators to help us with the builds because we need them to build a car, build a kicker, and rest of it up to us. But when, you know, something goes wrong with the kicker or with the car, or with, you know, how the suspension is, we can't really affect that. We're willing to take the risk of the flight, but not the build. And uh, thinking of things like afterwards, when, uh, 
Three, There's so many two, things that went wrong. But the car went up there. The jump was good then. There's nothing done with this person. Lastly, at the seat that I was in, this, there's no like rally car seat or power seat. <coughs> so when I slapped the car, the seat gave yeah, in. When you hit the ground, the seat gave in, the suspension gave in, and oh, it no, just was too much pressure on the spine in the first place. Yeah. And we didn't know, like, for us it looked epic, but then we heard your scream and we have this safety word fire truck, fire truck, and then we heard you, you start crying like. Uh, like a baby boy. Like a baby boy. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap, I think there's something really wrong. Yeah. Like, maybe something went up your face, but. Yeah, because at first I thought, like, okay, maybe I'm just, I'm fine. But it hurt so much. I've never, like, I've never felt pain like that. It's the worst pain I've ever experienced. But Mr. Sakinov, <laughs> Sakinov, Sakinov got, it. again, he's like, well. The hell are these guys doing? And there was a, after the pilot, this was the first episode. So we already had Yarno in hospital because of the broken ribs. But now we had Yarpi with the broken spine. But that hit was hard. Yeah. And like yeah, you go through all that. It doesn't does look does like I'm attached to the chair. No, you go. I go like this. And we even asked the coordinator, like, should we at least have, like, rally car seat belts? It's like, no, no, no he's fine. Look at him, is he fine? Yeah. That, that, was a, that was an epic start for our Dutchies in America. Big dream coming through. Others like to go to Disneyland or Six Flags. That was such a... Riding ambulances. That was like... The moment where we thought that this dream that we just started on, that we got a show in America, we got a big show. Here comes the like, <laughs> we screwed it up. But this is what we wanted since we were little kids in Finland in a small town, west coast of Finland, and all of a sudden we got a huge show on American TV. And four, seven, five days later, like, we thought it was finished. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm wearing. I had to wear that for three months. And we went to the same hospital three times after that. Like, we all ended up in that hospital. We always filmed north of Los Angeles, or most of the time. So, Yarno's ribs, me burning my face, me busting my tailbone, and Yarp breaking his spine. We all... They started laughing at us in the end. It's like, you guys again? But that was serious, I mean... I, I remember Charles was the one who killed out all the insurance papers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Charles. Yeah. Here we come. Today we yeah. will become the same boys all over again. Different day, same story. Over. The consequences <laughs> will be paid. Different day, same story. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, it was a big dream come true, but life just kept throwing curveballs to us. And it was scary, and it was like we put everything on the line. Our, you know, whole life we've been aiming towards getting a show, conquering the world. And we talked about it in fitness media and, and around the world. And all of a sudden, it came to a stop. But that just proves we didn't stop. We found a way, we found a solution. We took a week and a half break or something a little later and, and got a little better. This just proves that don't give up. Keep on chasing your dreams, and you know, you'll always hit a bump on the road. But. It's about coming up with a solution. Yeah, that was the... Uh, Nothing comes so easy. When I broke my back, that was the fourth day of shooting. And I think we had some 60 shooting days left. Good start! That was a strong start. Hope you guys enjoy. You can check out rest of the Dutons in America episodes on Dutons page. There's a link in description. Hope you like this. Click the bell in the right corner to get notified every time we post a video. And comment us below. And comment down below what you like the most that we've done, like with Yarpi while he's been here in LA. And if you want to see more of these behind the scenes videos or us reacting to 
uh, whatever we did back in the days. Because we want to also look at some of the older stuff and some of the newer stuff, all the, the ridiculous things that we've done on this channel on Dutch as well. I think we should pull out some of the like the real old stuff from Finland. Do you guys want to see that? Like the real old school stuff. We're like little kids. Anyway, peace, love and happiness. Thank you guys for checking this out. Remember to uh, keep following this channel and check out our social media. Check out uh, rest of the stuff on this channel. And I'm going to say, yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. It's a long night. I'm ready to go to bed. Peace, love and... Well, <laughs> <laughs> battery at the perfect time. Do you still have more batteries on there? Yeah.